Coming in number 10 is Common with the Stay Scheming remix aimed at Drizzy Drake. This, this, a lot of people feel like Drake won this one, but I felt like Common did. Maybe it was because I'm a Common fan, but I think bar for bar, Common's lines were better than Drake's. But here's some of the most notable bars from Common's. Can't say my name, but rap about a wife. You so black and white trying to live an, a life. I'm taking too long with this amateur guy. You ain't nobody. You Canada dry. So obviously Drake was mentioning Kobe's wife, but couldn't mention Common when he was responding to Common in little slick lines. But yeah, I like this. I like this one, but you know, like I said, people felt like Drake won it. Coming in number nine is Jigger Man Jay Z with Digger Hole of his Kingdom Come album and this was aimed at Killer Cam, Dame Dash, felt a few blows in this one, Dipset, I ain't gonna lie, this is one of those underrated diss songs that I think a lot of people just did not speak about, this is before social media and all that, in True Hove style it was all subliminals but it was very obvious he was talking about them, most notable bars on this one is think I'm in the office, I'm off my grind, that's how kids become orphans, you lost your mind, keep my enemies close, you give them enough rope, they put themselves in the air, I just kick away the chair, yeah buddy, yeah buddy was me by the way, all verses on this song were really good, definitely if you just like the art of rap and the way he just dissected all of them on Dipset and even Dame, the way he mentioned Dame, Go check this song out, people. Coming in number eight is Curtis. Well, it's Killer Cam and the song was Curtis. And that was obviously aimed at 50 Cent, the classic 2007 diss song. This was arguably not going to make it on this list in terms of underrated diss songs because it was pretty high profile, this song. But I don't think anyone really mentions this song as one of the great hip hop diss songs. Which I don't think it's in the elite level, but it's still a big one that people don't chat about and that's why it made this list. Because 50 came out with a strong hard song going at Cam and then Cam came in a comedic level. Here's the most notable bars on this one for me. Yep, so have a seat. This gonna be a masterpiece. I have to be. If you look like a gorilla with rabbit teeth. Curtis Bugs Monkey act hard with a crack guard that Mac broads that video ain't Queens it's your backyard what that was sick yeah 50s video was hard but it was just in his house whereas Cam was like surfing on a vehicle in Harlem the streets with the people nah, Cam actually killed 50 on this coming in number 7 underrated this song I must say this is DMX. They want war. Woo! This is a. Nobody talks about this. Nobody talks about X in terms of his diss song in general. But this one was at Ja Rule. If you don't know, Ja Rule came out after DMX. And, DM, and obviously, Ja Rule got a lot of fame. And people kind of say X felt a lot of jealousy towards Ja. But I think also people were saying Ja stole. DMX's sound because he has a similar kind of gravelly voice but anyway yeah X comes at Jar hard on this one it's a short short this song but it's very potent here's some of the most notable bars people use a hype man I started you dude you got itches part of your crew that's harder than you let me tell you what in jail say across the table that you are the cutest on your label Woo! yo I love how he rides on this beat man you know if you ain't heard this before, go check it out. You'll respect X even more than you should do. Coming in next at number six is Jada Kiss and Styles P with Shots Fired. This this song in the heat of the whole Locks versus G Unit, or it really was Jada Kiss versus 50, but this was an onslaught, man. They, them Locks boys were coming out with song after song, this in 50, this in G Unit. But this one, for me, the top of the list, shots fired. With Jada Kiss and Styles going back and forth in their unique style that they always do. And it was just a hard song, man. Like, I couldn't even say it was like a vicious 
line for line, bar for bar type of strong record. But the way, but just the instrumental was tough. You know what I mean? It just gave that energy of like absolute murder. But here's the bars I liked on this. Heard you did a shock bid in Lakeview. If my man woulda knew, then he woulda ate you. How about he was in the bunk right next to you? And I coulda made him put an LOX on you. All you together ain't got enough bars for us. Heard a bunch of from y'all. None of it was hard to us. Kill his if there's no cops and not wired. Can't come back to New York. Shots fired. Damn. What I gotta say is damn. Just hearing them bars right there should make you go and check the song if you don't know it. Because them bars were hard, man. Just check out what I just said, man. They don't make bars like this anymore, man. This new generation. No no hating. No hating, but yo. Need to go back to bars like that. Coming in number five is Cannabis with Second Round Knockout, which was a diss towards the legendary LL Cool J is hard as hell yeah boy the story behind this was a weird one because they did the song 4321 with Redman, Method Man I think DMX was on the song as well and Cannabis mentioned LL Cool J's legendary mic tattoo on his arm and LL Cool J didn't like it so he had like a diss song for Cannabis and he told Cannabis to change his verse but LL Cool J didn't change his verse so everybody kind of found out that that verse was for Cannabis and was like really putting pressure on Cannabis to respond to LL and that's what brought out the second round knockout record and he actually murked LL Cool J man like the record books kind of say that LL won but that's just because LL was LL he had the popularity thing to him but bar for bar yo Cannabis actually murked him here's some of the notable bars for me this was the climax of the song. He goes, Now watch me rip that tap from your arm. Kick you in the groin, stick you for your Vanguard award. In front of your mom, your first, second and third born. Make your wife get on the horn, call Minister Farrakhan. Damn! What? Listen. Listen. I hope my real hip hop heads are here, you know. Cause Cannabis was one of them, them guys that should have been a lot bigger than he ended up being. But nobody can mess with him. Like, yo, the late 90s, man, people were just chatting about cannabis. Coming in number four is Nasty Nas with the Stillmatic Freestyle. Jeez Louise, people forgot about this. People forgot about this, fam. This was the initial response to Jay Z's takeover that he did on Summer Jam. And people kind of felt that was like given to DJ K Slay. And that was a sped to the streets everybody was loving it but it just didn't hit that high the mainstream straight away it had like devastating lines on here and it was kind of aimed at the whole Rockefeller staff you know not just Jay-Z check it out rip the freeway shoot through Memphis with money bags stop in Philly order cheesecake and eat beans fast and bring it back cup top remove the fake king of new york you show off count dough when you sample my voice you know subtle bars you know subtle bars but effective bars rip through the whole rockefeller staff just right there and you know the rest of the songs got more at them so go check that out crazy 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 song nobody really chats about it they talk about ether they talk about takeover but this freestyle definitely pack the punch all right get down to the last three now number three is mace with the oracle this was directed at killer cam this is one of the most recent of all the diss songs on the list this was unbelievable listen because mace kind of disappeared to the church people forget how good he was lyrically man this guy is harlem's best ever rapper one of the greats in hip-hop history on the low but the Oracle man, he just tore Killer Cam down. And I'm a big Killer fan, but he tore him down, man. He exposed a lot of stuff. He lied a lot of stuff as well, apparently. But yo, he just went bar for bar, line for line, was just ripping Killer Cam apart. And that's not an easy feat. But I think for me, the climax of the song was right at the end, man. And he goes like this. I'm the name on the ribbon on the bird. I'm done rapping with you. You always be my 
You got my effing name tatted on you. Jeez. And in case you're wondering, what? Cat Killer Cam's got mace tatted on his body? Nah, but I think he was referring to the fact that, that Cam's got Harlem written on his arm. And it's kind of about Mace's group that he had back in the day. It's not literally Mace's name on Cam's arm. Alright, down to the last two people. And the next one is number two. And that is Royster59 with Malcolm X. People know, if you know this song, then you know it definitely has to be on this list. Because not enough people talk about this song, man. This was going at D12 and Eminem, but mainly D12. But you had a couple bars for M. Yo, there's too many bars for me to even choose one. But I had to choose one because that's the theme of this whole episode. But this is the one of the lines he was going at bizarre. And he said this. You can run or hide. I'll be on your porch with a cheeseburger trying to lure you outside. Because he's in it. Bizarre say G, -g, 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 -g unit. I bet you throw some extra G's in it. Just like a stuttering fool can't reach intelligence. Sweats when he raps because he got a speech impediment. Damn. Yo. Respect the speech impediment mother flippers out there B. Can't take the mick out of them. But yeah listen. If there's one song on here that you guys could check out, this is one of them. Because he does tear his whole of D12 up. Each individual, bar for bar, line for line. And like I said, he's even got some lines for Eminem. And last but not least, it's number one, people. If I had a drum roll, I'd do one now. But number one on my list of the most underrated rap diss songs of all time, Jay-Z. With Blueprint 2, the second verse in particular. But boy, listen. All I'm gonna say about this is if Nas wanted to go another round and reply to this, he would have opened this up to a whole different ball game because Jay Z went for the juggler. Now, this was even better than the takeover. Line for line, bar for bar. But and Nas could have didn't want nothing with this man, because this was crazy. Like he went off the he mentioned jungle, he mentioned Nas, he called him fake attacked his credibility and plus the flow was just fire listen this song i don't even hear i've not even heard one person talk about this song like it was a hot this song like it's not even mentioned as one of the greats because nas won but if nas only because nas didn't reply to this in terms of a whole song but like i said the whole second verse was crazy but i had to pick my favorite bars on here and it was this I gave you life when it was forgetting you MC I'm a legend you should take a picture with me you should be happy to be in my presence I should charge you a fee I'm big dog Glen Rob listen god you a flea and your little homie jungle is a garden to me jeez yo that line about jungle if you don't know, that's Nas's little bro. You a flea and your little homie jungle is a garden to me. This, listen, Jay-Z went in on this, man. I really recommend, if you don't know this song, go check it out. For me, let me know if you think this is better than TakeOver and Aoife. But obviously Aoife won it because Nas didn't reply to this. But that is it. That's your list of the top 20 hip-hop rap diss songs of all time. The underrated ones anyway. Let me know in the comments what you think of this list. Who would you put in this list as well in terms of a this song that you think is underrated, no one chats about. All right, people, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion. Peace and love.